But when I went home this week, the Lord impressed one word in my heart from the message of Sunday. And I did not rest until I asked God what is the problem. And that is the message I'm going to preach today. And it is, it is a, just one word from the text we read on Sunday, the last text we read on Sunday. And I want us to repeat this, the, the text. And it is on the blackboard, so we are going to read together. Until we come to the words. Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse sixteen, six to sixteen. So let us, this is Paul talking to the Thessalonians and Ernst talking to us. The Bible, the Bible says, let us read all of us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers, to keep away from every, let us read in English and then before we move to the other slide, here in Kekamba, all right? So you are going to be there, you are going to, to read after. So let us begin in English. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers, to keep away from every brother who is idle and does not live according to the teaching you received from us. Kekamba, verse 6. Neto mwea ya anasa sietu anea mwea iwe Yesu Kristo kana mwe badhani na kila mwanaasa ula ubikila maundu ala mataileite na ti kubikila umanisio ula mwosie kuitu. So you should be ready to follow what the Bible says. Kuhuwa ilenda wita yare kuwati ya chonde kila bibiliya iweta. Verse 7 and 8. Muso wa mwanto na wanana. Let us read. Tuso wa main. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. In Kekamba, Nondo inyum inyu ene ni mwese, ondo mwailwa ni kwele katina ito, ni kwede wa totia avikila maondo matai la ilatwa inenu, ona totia ayali uwa mondo anaweba mana. Fast 9, okay, the same fast continuing, on the contrary, let us continue. We worked night and day, laboring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to make ourselves a model for you to follow. In the we are nevina na onyamaoni. Utuko na mudena tu atadi sio wea ni kana tu ikam tu ikamu tu ikiye muiyo tu ikamu tu ikiye muiyo mondo na weva kwenu tiki kwe de watu sina ukumu ina ni kana tu 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 ikiye angeli kani kwenu ni kana inyo mwele mwele kana sio na ito. Verse ten. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule: if a man will not work, he shall not eat. Nondo hilo tu ina nuno netu amwe ya yeo. But then I'm asking, if he does not eat, what is he going to do? Aye, mo yai kata, no kukuwa. Anataka fanyo na nani? Enda atuko miwa wenu. Nasi mugonjwa. Na weti mo. Kama ni mugonjwa tunge understand. Yuko kani e mo mo uno tuelewe. Kana tigo. Verse eleven. We hear that some of you, some among you are idle. They are not busy. They are busy bodies. Another translation of that verse. New Living Translation says that about that verse. Yet we hear that some of you are living idle lives. 
refusing to work and meddling in other people's business. Amen. Their work is to, to meddle, to, to, to interfere with other people's business. And I was touched by the word meddling. And I went to, to the dictionary and I wanted to look at the word that mean like meddling. They are, these people are not, look at it. This will, these people, listen, we hear that some of you are living, come on, they are living idle lives. And because they are idle, what do they do? They, they refuse to work. Number two, they meddle in other people's business. What does that mean? They look at the people who are busy. And they meddle with them. When they are doing their business. The word meddling. Means the same as interfering. Instead of working they interfere with you when you are working and they interfere with your business another word that looks like med, uh, means like meddling is snooping there is no there is and because they are idle they can snoop all the business people in this, in this town they can snoop all the business people in this town they can interfere with all the business Christian business people and they can walk even in homes interfere with you in what you are doing intrusive they are not invited but they invite faith faith if you could add stock if only you can go to Karyoko. How oh, you go to Karyoko? You would get better things. Intrusive, they are intruding into other people's business. Your wife, do you know your wife? Your wife. I'm inviting They are praying. Meddling in other people's business. And I like one king what he told another king. One king told another king. In Second Chronicles chapter 35, verse 21 to 26. 22. And this is what he told the other one. Josiah was told by another by Neko. Refrain from meddling with God. Who is with me? Lest he destroys you. This king told the other one. Let me tell you. I am on God's assignment. And I must do it. Please don't interfere with what God is doing with me. Otherwise the same God. Will destroy you. But nevertheless, Isaiah would not turn his face from him, but Ilana. disguised himself so that he might fight with him. Ilana. And he did not heed the words of Neko Jod. from the mouth of God. So he became he came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. Ilana. 
uh, mwanda wa Megido. When Isaiah Josiah was not done made with God. Ila Josiah we iwe ndukokita na ngai. He disguised himself. A e e e e with a nyak chama. And uh, behaved like not the king. E yo lania ni kenao ni kata ni kata otemu. And they went to fight Neko. Na adi kukita Neko. But there were some people who shoot with arrows. Indebe and mother ana mangi. They shoot him. Ma muada and he cried. Na akayania. Why was he shot? Why I had you niki? Because he was meddling with the work of God. Nundo ne wali kile we awanga. And he was warned and he refused. Na iwa kani wena ai mai wa. And even if he disguised himself. On a kaunde we ulani ulani vi. The arrow of God found him where he was. Yangu 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 Meddling with the work of God. Kulikela we awanga. Verse twelve. Such people we command. Musawa, kumi na lima madu kumi ya seka na andoma mende mbozi tu mwezi yai. And the haj in the Lord Jesus Christ. Nakum nakumuta ande ni wa Kristo Yesu. Which people? Ande andoma baad ame utawa mende mbozi. Who meddle with the work of God? Andoma malikela we awanga. Who meddle with those who are in business? Malikela alama mbi ya salan. Who interfere with them? Makalikela andoma zuma. Who want to mess the people of God? Who went to mess the work of God? Because they themselves are not busy, and they want to bring confusion. And there are so many people today who are like that. Na bei anwege mwenye dunia ni mailu. Wakiona muyu mtu na muke wake wanaendelea mzuri. Ma ili kuona na muka maende nesa. They start meddling with them. Ma yambi yoli kila na nao. Na zile shida si katika familia nyingi. Na madina na madina na mizimu nyingi. Ni kwa sababu kuna mtu ana medo na yu family nundu be mtu kulikila mwana musiusu awataki waendele mzuri madhi na aduwa zima endene anataka kuingiza tuwa yake katika family endo lichenyo yake musiusu and the cause commotion in the family and we have so many people who are suffering because somebody somewhere is meddling with the family na tu ina andwa ingi mwana 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 kwa mtu ba andu nwende na ulikila musiusu there are so many relationships that are in problem because somebody somewhere start meddling with the friendship. There are so many churches that are crying today. Not because they should cry. But because somebody somewhere is meddling with the church. And there are so many nations also that are fighting today. Not because they should be fighting. But because somebody somewhere is meddling with the, with the nation. And so instead of meddling with the other people's affairs, there is a warning from the Bible. And what is that command? Settle down. Settle down. Today my message is settle down. I want to talk about settle down. Nienda kutabia yolo wa usia. Neto yolo wa usia. Because when you settle down, you are going to work and earn your bread to eat. Nuto na uduku maana ukwata mukate waku wa uja kilamu dena. When you settle down, you will stop meddling with other people's business. You stop, you stop meddling with other people's affairs. Because an idle person can destroy a whole village. An idle person can destroy a whole church. An idle person can destroy a whole nation. An idle person Mundo uili mana settle down. Tafadhali usia. Amen. Amen. That is what I am preaching today. Chuo chungu tapanya suwa wa munde. Settle down. Usia. Mwe datayo. Amen. I'm talking about what? Settle down. Niena yolo wa kuusia. Settle down. Kuusia. Settle. There are several words that mean like settle, and I looked at them, and they were very encouraging. To settle means relax. 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 To sett
Because why people are not settling down because they have not relaxed. They are running everywhere. They have not relaxed. They are so busy doing nothing. Poking their noses in people's affairs. Settle means become peaceful. Usia. Uh, you settle down. Usia. Peaceful. Another word is become calm. There are so many people who are offended and they are running everywhere as if they are, they are looking for something. They are not looking Calm down. Come on, Vijana and then the last word is resolve all these words mean the same as settle resolve go back to your mind and say this is not good my life is not good I'm not living right what I am doing is not good and I have to change Amen. Amen. And I have to change. Amen. Resolve. Itung, There's itung. a kikamba word that is called, I want to teach those who are not kambas a kikamba word. Niendo buzelama te akamba, neto a kikamba. A tekom. Neto ma menu kenayo. Inaitwa katole langi. Zeta wa katole langi. The bouncer bouncer. Those who don't know kikamba, you know amikono. Alama te teke kikamba, mwakili kwako. I, I want to teach you one. That's, that word is for you. If you don't understand, I want to give you. I want to give you. Yes, mouse is mama. Okay, la miles. 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 Because a, we agreed he's going to learn Kikamba. That word is called Katule Lang. Can you say that? Can you say that? Eh? Yes? Can you say Katule Langi? Yes, everybody, come on, say it. Mouse? Katule Langi. Nasi Zote? Katule Langi. Okay, thank you. You may be seated. Katule Langi. Katule Langi. If I can explain in English, it means Kanjambu Jamb. E manisa Kamunduke, Kalaga, Tano, Katano, Kangite, Vanabaya. In, in, in English, it is can jump, jump. Niku uh, daka daka. Na kwa kiswahili ni karu karuka. Karu karuki. Ni muru karuki. Yani kana jump, jump. Huyu mutu kazi yake ni kutule langa tu. Kudaka daka. Kwezi kanja baana baana. Like, like, like a flea. Flea kwa kiswahili kiroboto. Kama yeah. kiroboto. Toko sa. So, Muna yuwa kiroboto vile na jump, jump. Ununga leto langa haka. Na choa hundu kithaka. Uwa kwa kiswahili. Yeah. Katule langi. Kikatulila. And uh, we are talking to Katulilangi today. Lo mundi tiange wana Katulilangi ba. Tunamwambia nini? Tumwe hata. Settle down. Tunamwambia nini? Tuliza boli. Tuya Katulilangi ato mundi. Tuliza boli. Mwana muiva ya. Usia. Today we are talking to somebody called who? Katulilangi. Katulilangi. Kajambu jambu. Kat we are telling him what? Usia. Let us look at the words. We are telling him. We are telling him what? Relax. Relax. Tulea. Katulilang. Relax. We are talking about what? In the way mundo in a move. Because what is causing you to jump, jump? Kila, that means you are not settled. You are not peaceful. We are telling him. Then a move away. Then we are a move. Then we are a move. We are telling him what? Temuata. In the way, in the way mundo. Be calm, Katulilang. In the way mundo. Be what? Calm down. Eh, usia. 
And we are telling him what? Restore. So that you may move on being a katule lank. And they settle down. So today we are talking to somebody. Amen. Amen. As in the endeavor to settle down so that you may not be a katule katuli lank. Number one, settle your life. Settle your life. There are people whose life are katule lang life. They live a katule lang life. They never settle. They are everywhere and then doing nothing. So, in the bid to settle down, number one, settle your life. Paul is saying, Paulo tell them to settle down. Tell those who are Katulilang kind of people to settle down. Let them, number one, settle their life. Amen. Amen. And in the same verse, for you to settle your life, number one, you, Paul is telling them, telling them to stop their orderly walk. This other life is walking carelessly. And the walking here walking is living. There are people who live disorderly lives. And the, the Bible is saying for you to settle your life. Stop being disorderly. Be orderly. There are people who live the way it is going to be. They have no program for themselves. And because they don't have a timetable for themselves. And they don't have a order for themselves. That is why they can be cheated and be deceived by anybody. Anaenda kangundo. Aidito kangundo. Na aendi mali flani. Nande odi ba ndo bana. Ana gutana mungi ne hapa. Aiko manongi ba. Ana mabe ana enda tala. Aima ne tala. Chuni peleke. No undwa. Ana mabe a bus twende. Aima na tuidi. Agivika tala. Ah bika tala. Ana ona mungi na nanda na robi. Ayo di ongi tuidi ne lobi. Ana nanda na robi. Aima ni tala lobi. Gari ne i twende. Aiji no no tuidi. Ana ingi angari. Aidi kangali. Ana nanda na robi. Aima bika lobi. Wagivika na robi. Ah bika lobi ye. Ana mununle lunch. Aima aido wa lunch. Ana mabe a mimi likuwa na enda. Naenda kejado kwa hivyo Naenda kejado kwa huu Unasemaje Wewe ya ziate Anaajwa na robi Aitiwa ilobi Kuna lugu mungine the other day alinipigia simu Pe mwanazo kiyo na angunia simu laingi The other day alinipigia simu Waka mudeli wa angunia simu Bishop ni kwa hapa town Bishop ni bata oni Na sina tiket Na ndina tiket Tafadhali ni tumie 1500 Kwa ndaya tumie ngili ya mana Unienda na robi wa kufanya nini Uo naende lobi kukata Aja katole langi, katole langi, katole langi alipe watu, akuwe tu, akaenda kulandi na robi. Adi ukima ni lobi, na juu alikuwa na enda wapi, wale walikuwa na enda na yeye ukamwa chao. Alama na gema muti alizeku, because alikuwa hana mpango. Unu na ina mpango. Uli toka nyumba ni ukienda wapi ili uniti je tiketi ukuwa na robi. Niki na wajeto wewe zetu tiki tii wewe wenye tii. You need to know, ukienda na robi utarudi yake. Wale lomana hii lobi uziokata. Ukienda na robi utarudi aje Lakini kwa sababu we ni katuli lang Na unajifanya ume okoko Hiyo rondi otunamaliza leo Katika jina la yesu Christ Ati nataka kuowa I want to get married Na ukioa What about after marriage You don't know the price of milk Nimeowa I'm now married And so Kwa u Si unipatia kakitu ni katuli watu maziwa Give me something I buy something for my family My child some milk when you are married, what were you thinking? You must know that babies drink milk. And you spiritual people are a bit stupid. Babies don't drink. Hallelujah. They drink milk. 
Kuna tofauti ya haleluya na maziwa. There's a difference between haleluya and Haleluya ina sehemu yake. Haleluya has got its place. Na maziwa ina sehemu yake. And milk has got its right to place. Usingize maziwa kwa haleluya. Don't mix business with milk. Na usingize haleluya kwa maziwa. For milk to my. Hilo ujinga mnayo ya kiroho ni mbaya kabisa. That foolishness you should get it out. Na mnakuja hapa kwa na ushuhuda mrefu. Then you come here with a long testimony bishop ambona again. Na mshao wanataka nikupande kuna pesa za maziwa. You want me to fund you with some money for milk. Come on, Usia. No, we go. Settle down. Settle down, Bwana. Usia. He, Maisha, ya disorderliness is stop. Maisha, ma, 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 but I'm all out. Mother, Bwana, si feel. Amen. They are disorderly because they are not working at all. And wa, ma ina moro nigo da ma, ma ilo doko mo na banini. Na wa watu di ona leta shida kubwa. Na andwa ibe ma etai di na monene. Ndugu tunakutania wapi? Brother where are we meeting? Tukutania huko. Let's meet there. Na nikachai anataka na mastori ingine And he bure. just wants tea and some other stories. Where did you get stories for your mastori? Who who missi engewe isi ya mudembo zuba nikienda wetu? Because you are idol. No do hivi mana. An idol person will not get time to get to collect his stories from all of them. Mundu utaili mana utukume itendaka ya zwa mandange wasi ya mana. And such people are idol. Na ndo ama ilimanu uma mudhe boss. Na ame tuzumbua sana. Ni matu dhini jemuno. Mana wana kitu ya kufanya. Because they have got nothing at all to do. Stop living prodigal living. Eka na nathayu wa ki uma amai. Stop prodigal living. Eka na nathayu wa uma amai. Hiyo mbaisha ya kutuli langa everywhere. That life of jumping here and there every time. There's a story in Luke chapter 2. Chapter 15, verse 11 to that two. Penge waje luka ikumi na tano muzwa ikumi ikumi na mokodi kama mkuu. About the prodigal son. Weta wa mama na kima amai. And this prodigal son is another pro is another is another katole langi. Namu ano kima amai ne ne katole langi ongewe. This brother, this son, has got a very good father. Eh, namu ano eh na asa muzi yamu no. A father who has worked hard for his family there is everything in the home there is food there is clothing everything but yet he is not settled anaangalia inje ya fence na anaona huko ndiyo guzuri akona kuu ya is a bit more green Alamu ya naitisha ya mali yake. Na hitia mali yake. Haende huko inche. Na hithi nikarazi kunza. Anaenda huko inche. Na hithi kunza. Na huko inche. Na hithi kunza. Wale watu wako inche. The people outside there. They are not good for you. Ti asio kuondu wako. They are good for what you have. Ni asio kwa kila wako yetewe. Kila nacho. Those people outside. Andu asio mwona haba ayanza. Don't love you. Mai kuende te. They love you. You have. Makwende akila okwete. Kana kila inacho. They love you because you have something they want. Makwende anu ndo kitabeke. Mwena wina chema yukwete. 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 Kama kama ukwete. Mwena wina chema yukwete. Mwena wina chema yukwete. Mwena wina chema yukwete. Mwena wina chema yukwete. Mwena wina chema kama tissue okay chanza ta tissue bi na ikiwa na waguweko kwa 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 nini kwa chono wafanya nini wa flash na maiko ya john na maiko kuna na kiwothe na kundi they tell you i love you i love you i love you mako ende tena ili uruke walk off Nikienda ukile utangia. Wewe kama ni mwanaume ruka. Jua ndai mtu ume ndiko akila utangia. Lakini utakutana wewe hapa sokoni. Tu hapa nakupa hapa sokoni. Nakutana wangu anambia bishop. Kama ana ingima kaambia asgovu. Nilikuwa mshirika wako. Ndio hiyo mshirika wenu ba. Na ukimwanga nilikuwa hapo nakuja nilianza ulikuja lini? Ukiende. Nilianza huko nikiwa standard 1. Naambia bune 1. Ukimwangalia nilikuwa pastor wake akiwa standard 1 tukiangaliana unashangaa yule alikuwa pastor wa mwingine ni nani maana Wala kula wa hii pastor wengine ununduwe Baba dhina Uliruka ukienda wapi Wakilio ndeti yako Mwita katole langi Katole langi Katole langi Katole langi Prodigal living Dayo wa kiuma amai 
people who are not satisfied with what they have people who are not satisfied with where they are people who are not satisfied with what they are what, where they where they are and what they have people who want the other side who think the other side is better than here kwa sababu mzee pesa yake ni kidogo you think you can jump to another one wewe ni nauta alikuwa kadiko long yule ako na pesa ulawe na pesa hebu nikwambie utaenda kwake na mwisho wewe utarudi kwa huyu na mudio kaachoka kwa huyu maana kile utaonea huko ndio kile odionea na kumbe Katuri langi. Katuri langi. Prodigal living. Dayo waki umama. Today we are living in days where people are not satisfied with anything. Matukwano maiko ani wani kindo na kiba. We are living in days when you cannot know how to satisfy people. Tutoe matukwano uteanisiano. Unafanya kibarua, unafanya chochote unaletea watoto. Ukadhuko mwaka ete siana na kibeti. They are not satisfied. Na tie yani Unafanya chochote kwa mzee Unafanya chochote kwa mama not You preach the message like you are dying to people kwandu they are not satisfied Today we are living in days when we are not satisfied with anything And we think the other side is better than here Prodigal living just like the sun And today we have people like that. No mundi be asian drama no mama the most. Prodigal living. That you are mama. Prodigal life is what kind of life? That you are mama in the wilderness. Is a wasteful life. Ni that you are kwananga. Sio. Peba wa wanango. The spirit of wastefulness. Wastefulness. That peba wa wanango. Why some of us are poor is because of waste. Whatever we get we waste. Tuna ribu mshahara kama tuna assignment na mtu mwingine. We waste our salary as if we have an assignment with somebody else. Let me tell you hakuna mshahara kubwa na hakuna mshahara ndogo. Hakuna pesa nyingi na hakuna pesa kidogo. There is no much or little money. What you need is to know where you are in your money. Kila kwa na niko maana wewe bandi ni ambeza. Pesa zako ni gani zile unapata? Pesa ile uko ata asiana ata. Budget that money. Budget pesa hizo. Do what you are able to do with that money. Ika kila tunaika na ambeza hizo. Yule ana nyingi kuliko wewe na yeye apange. Kula wewe naambike mbe wakuna akeba. Ikiwa wewe ununua bicycle na pesa zako. You can buy a bicycle using money. Na yeye anaweza nunua ngari. And she he can buy a vehicle. Thank God. Tunga kama mtu mbe. Atakuwa kukubeba mkienda na roho. Akao kuwa hivi lobi. So don't pretend. Kundu ke fanye. Wastefulness. Wanango. We would be far. Tita tiba asa. If whatever we get. Kika kila chote tiki kuata. We don't waste. Tita ananga. Prodigal life is a prodigal is a life of wastefulness. Da yuwa ma ma ni da yuwa wanango. People who have not settled down. Ando mata iso i usia. Reckless life. Da yuwa prodigal living is a reckless life. Da yuwa wanango. People who just live recklessly. And make a lot of you are kitumbo. They don't care whatever they live. Mate ukulia kilo na. I don't care what I live. Ndio ukulia nika. I live one day at a time. Nika la glamu that we don't do here. Reckless life. That you are kitumbo. Immoral life. Neither are you immoral life. Neither are you utemwa ilu. Pa that you mudhuku immoral life. That you mudhuku. If you are a woman you want to go with all the men. Dayo muvuku ukazadi dayo ke wemwe wekipetu ndo ndia na ume and if you are a man you go with all the women and and that we 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 mundu me wando ndo ndo you finish going with all the men you want to go you are a woman you want to go with all the women na mina na ume uithi we mundu muko ndo ndo utuma ndo na and after you finish all the women you want to go with all the men and you are a man na wa mina na akwa na aka na akwa mundu me wando ndo na ume na ume na we reckless immoral life dayo muvuku wa kitumbo na ni tuweka ita ndo mapasta Tutaacha kuita watu mapasta. Pastor mwana and give by YouTube na soma it eight and one pastor post on YouTube saying tell people. Mwana wewe na wewe mundu mukomwe. Mundu mwe uzunde mbesa. Tell people that a man who is satisfied with one wife has got no money. Is that a pastor? Was you pastor? And these are the kind of things you are you are, you are digesting in the YouTube. And, these, and, 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 and they, they are giving you rights to do whatever you want because it's a pastor. Ati ati 
the, a man who is satisfied by one woman has no money. A pastor. A pastor. A pastor. A pastor. Reckless life, immoral life. And that is why it is becoming difficult to preach utakatifu in church. And that is why the churches that are preaching righteousness and holiness and straightful life, people don't want those churches. But we are, we are here to announce we are not attracting such people. We are here for people who want to go to heaven. Amen. Amen. So if you are a protocol, Extravagant and Extravagant and controlled. And People cannot be controlled. And People cannot be taught this is wrong. And People cannot be no said no. Come on, no. And Prodigal people. And And this prodigal life is right in the church. And these are the kind of we are preaching. Name. Come on, let us read those words. Number one, prodigal living. Come on, let us read. Wasteful. Reckless, Kitumbo. immoral, Ubuku. extravagant, Wana. and control. Utatingwa. People cannot be controlled. Mundu break. The opposite of prodigal is cautious. We need we to be cautious in the way that we live. We need to walk circumspectly as we live in this world. Amen. Amen. Settle down. To lay Settle down so that you may care for your children. Settle down so that you may serve the Lord. Settle down that you can raise children. Settle down that you can raise a family. Settle down your children need you. Your family needs you. Your husband, your wife needs you. And you can only do that when you are settled down. Amen. 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 And when you settle down, you work in quietness. Yeah, you work in quietness. Work in quietness. Work in quietness. Amen. Fanya kasi quietly. Work in quietness. Wacha kublow the balloon with the, the, the trumpet. Eka utanga zi and ukilo. Don't you know I am this and that? No, isn't it your own home? Ah, settle down and Dunia. get to work. No, ikili yadi kawe ani. Amen. Amen. And uh, when you do that, naweko, you will do what? You will eat your own yeah, bread. Yai duti ayaku. Amen. 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 That can only be done by somebody who has settled down. Kindo chuk kito ne kano mundo wait. And then you will help the needy by what you Amen. 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 Number two, after you settle your life, before we move there, do you feel settled? Do you feel settled? Do you think you have settled down? Ama you are katoli langi. Kana nuwe katoli langi. Do you know it depends? But, but, but let, let us continue. Let us continue. Number two. After you settle your life. Wa mina kutetha yu wako. Settle what? Usia mutuwa ano wako. Settle your marriage. Usia mutuwa ano wako. This is another area where Katuli Langi has affected so much. Mark chapter 1 to 12. Maliko kilungucheye kumi na musuwa wambe mbakawe kumi na ili. The Pharisees who were Katuli Langi abalisi alama ya Katuli Langi Ask Jesus. First two. Is it, lost, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? You know, because they are Katulilangi. 
They want Jesus to put a stamp on their utulelang. Just like many people who come to me and they want us to a stamp on their utulelang. And Jesus asked them first three. What did Moses command you? Moses First four. Masia. They said Moses permitted a man to write a, a certificate of divorce and a dismissal. You know, to deal with the Tutulilangi is no. very difficult. Moses said, Moses, told us, Ukiwa umutaki, from today, from today, you are not my wife. Then Moses said. Unachukua mwingine Unakaa na yeye Anaweka chumbi mbaya Maana katulilangi ni spirit Ambao I doesn't get settled Unapatia mwingine Paluwa ni hii Uliolewa na katulilangi Na katulilangi Ame kutulicha nenda So aume When will katulilangi finish Kwa katulilangi akami nendi Makosa itaisha lini Makosa makadhe lendi Maana haitaisha Nunu makosa makadhe la Certificate sa divorce azita vanya nini Certificate sa divorce azita ishi Ike zao de la And Jesus asked them Jesus asked them Yesu wa makulia hii Are you in first Are you in that text Musu wa katana Musu wa katana yes Ite Yesu amea Ni kuondu wa umu wa ngoo sienu wa muandiki Wa muandiki ya muya hausu It is because of the hardness of your heart Moses allowed that Nunu wa umu wa ngoo sienu Katulilangi ana very hard heart. Katulilangi yeto ana angoa mbubo muno. Ata umuubirie nini? Ono mutebye chau. Haingi. Desa iwa. Because unamuambia, ata ukimuambia inatulilanga. Ona wamu ya yeto atulilangi tewe. Ata ukimupikia chai inatulilanga. Ona wamu ya chai kitha kitulilangi te. Because ni kutulilanga. Nunduwe ni kutulilanga. Ata ukiowa. Ata ukiowa. Because of hardness of heart. Moses did that. Moses But from the beginning, it, it was not so. What did God do to the, from the beginning? Uh they will never be two. They will always be one. That is from the beginning. From the beginning. God said a man will marry a wife. The moment they join together, they are not two. They are how many? One. Na hapo bila nasema, Yesu anasema, whoever God has joined, let no man separate. Na hindi olanga ilumaneti ya mundu, na kama tana nye. Lakini katole langi ya wezi kukubale hiyo, na katole langi datikilo po usu, Ata jambu kutoka huyu mwanamuke kuyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo Na this ndiyo utulilangi inaletwa kanisani na watu na tutulilangi Na utulilangi weta ya kanisani ni tutulilangi tuwa mute mbosu And every time now today Na kile vile uto wa mundi Soon it is going to be It has ended in the constitution Yo ometoko na likende ndini wa asheria zito mea ujitu it is inside of the constitution. Today in Asema, wanaume wanaweza constitution ya Kenya. In Asema, wanaume anaweza kuwa wanaume wanawaki wangapi. In Asema, wanaume anaweza kuwa wanawaki wangapi. No musoma constitution ya Kenya. Kwa ni ya musomi katiba. Eh? The act of parliament. In Asema nini? Four. 
the parliament the parliament ya Kenya wale watu tulichagua in the act of parliament walisema you are free to get how many four act of parliament we are wabunge all right no 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 nipatie hii naongezu na yo na this act from above inasema nini now we are come alwa ziada one omwe no omwe ba this says what no ya ziada one omwe na ya parliament ya kenya inasema what four ana ile inalenga mwanaume mzuri katuli rangi ni gani ile kulenga mwana mwanaume katuli rangi ni neba ya Kenya. Kote ino ya ndito ya Kenya. So, kanisa tuta follow gani? Ni kanisa tu yati ya dibawe. Hiyo ama hii. Ni suyo kana. Ni sababu watu wengi wameanza kutoka hii. Na yule mimi anaenda mwite yule anaenda hiyo. Maka dia suyo ingeja mimi. Because it is good for them. Nundu ni nzio kwao. Inalenga tutulilangi na kwa sababu imetengenezwa na tutulilangi wanaumetengenea tutule langi twengine ndio sababu sasa imekuwa ngumu kuhubiri hii it is made by those bouncy guys for other bouncy guys just like them and that's why they feel good in it and it is coming in the church na dio kitaka nisani settle your what settle Usia. what usia dhayo wako your marriage usia mu, uh, kama umeolewa oleka mosi wako alosi mtwano wako ndio mtwa ni watu iwe na kama amekuwa ndaimoni na enda tuke hivi she has become a demon ado nyingine then it means that uh, you are another one hata wewe ni nyingine you are another demon because a demon cannot marry a man no ndo daimon yo ndizo watu wa mungu a demon can only marry a demon Daimon yale watu wa daimon yenge Settle your marriage Usia mtu ana wako ile mambo mnaduletea kutoka kwa acts zile zingine Maundo la mtu wete kuma kwa acts swinge mia sheria swinge Sisi za huko we have an act here Ile twena mwe ao ba Kama ni act of parliament And then we are wa bunge Usitulete dukatoto tuetea ikae parliament eto wae ku lakini huku ende ku kuna act nyingine pena we aonge na wewe mzee ambao unafanya mtu asikie mbaya na huku mzee leo tuma mtu ewe ewe ndu maana wanaume wengine wamekuwa mbaya ndio na maume yangi matuikia dhu kuna wanaume wengine wamekuwa dangerous au akaliki na wao pia wame matuikia ma ma muizi ma ikaleka nao tafadhali usia tuliza boli eh tuliza boli set down bwana uwe mwanaume tulea mwanaume na ufanyie familia yako na hizo kwa mia mosi wacha ulevi kana no the tabia mbaya kana tabia italeta set your marriage usia mtwano wako because if you don't set on your marriage nundu wae mausia mtwano wako that is what is opening now the wound of all the mess Chuo kio bingwa inde you are munuka wa maundo alangi matamadhu. And if you are not married, marry. Na ndio mtu ana mtu ana. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Yeah. Wacha kukaruka huku. Eka utali kakuna kuta angala. Because if we don't settle our marriages. Uno twa ema uhusia mtwano jitu. It will be very difficult to have a church. Nikenda hivi na mnoko na kanisa in. Because we have a, we, we will be a church where no family is settled down mtu ni kanisa wa mthembola pate musi utulite kwa hivyo mama kwa ukibetiwe oleka kama ulioleka twaika and then what twaiwe mzee oleka kama ulioleka mzee na kutwa na and then what twanie bwana sifiwe amen tuliza mboli bwana tuliza mvila settle your marriage tuliza mtwano wa na if there is a problem na and then thina look at ile marriage sinakuwa na shida mi tolai dana thina yo can somebody guess no to swania idi andu kuna kuanga na nini kwithi awacha na katulilangi kwithi wana kutulilangi kwa hivyo wanaume na wasia na fungeni funga hii funga hii itoni sio onde 
ila tutole langi kindly can you ensure that pinga ito on zio on the ila tutu ila tutole langi tuwe kara you fix all the loopholes that are these bouncing stars mama vunga roto ni tu on the tula kadol langi omwesela let there be no leaking areas that uh, the bouncing stars mose pinga roto ni tu on the as a husband do the same pinga roto ni langi nza can you close them out no is is a given to gain alarm the wa wa is is a given and look at this lady the way you are looking at at her when she was a young you are not then you find that she is really lakini like was a given to gain at tutul lang tana look uh, we compare you compare her, what are you comparing other other katul lang is you, you won't be able to get the comparison set all your what usia mtu ano wako am i talking to people here yes. amen because immorality imekuwa imeingia church in a very no, strong no. force ubukuru ligira kanisani kwanzi ya ingito muno number 2 ndo akeli as you settle down your marriage wewe usia moto ana wako settle member i think that that number is in the wrong place i will come for it number 2 ninguka ninguka umyosa Now that number will come back to it. Is not mengea mbaya. Yali kana nai. So number 2, number 3. Ndonge wa. Number 1 you have said on what? Ndwa mbe ni wa set o chawe. Come on, you have set on what? You are alive. Ni wa set o that you are. Number 2. Ni wa set o. Ni wa usia. You are what? Mtu ana wa. Your marriage. Number 3. Number 3. Set o your worship. A usia o thaidi wa. Set o your worship. Usio thaidi wa. Who do you worship? What are you? Are you sure what you worship? We will now wake the work in order. The Bible says. Man di come asiati. In Matthew 22:37 to 38. Matthew miongoli na ile muswa. Jesus said to him. Yesu amwia. Matthew 22 ukamwenda yoba ngai waku Worship the Lord your no, God. No taide yoba ngai waku. Worship Jehovah only. No taide yoba eweka. Worship Jehovah. No taide yoba. Amen. Amen. The Father of Jesus Christ. Ibe wa mu yesu Christo. Who died on the cross for us. Ula watu kuya ngala ni kwa nuno. Worship us and resurrected again. Ah to the ande na ah to the ande. And he's going to heaven. Nani wa ndi yesu. And he's coming for us. Na ka tu isi yingi. That only one. Usi eweka. Is the one we are supposed to worship. We want to pray to God either. And we must love him with all our heart. Na no mbaka te mwana na ngo si tu si onde. In your heart there is no there should not be competition of you love God or you love a man. Dini wa ngo ni kwa ile na nguza nzia kana wende te ngai na wende. God should be number 1. Gai I lend the end. And when you love God number 1. Na wa mwana gai na mbe mwe. All the men are number 2. Au me allow them angio them ka number ile. Amen. 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 You are the Ayeda nilikuwa na mfuko moja hii tunafunga tunafunga hivi. Ayeda sasa sasa ni briefcase. The numbers that we were we were you had to, you have to help to push this number so that the the the, the box opens. Na bai namba wa na wa ile obanga nige na nige na upuko kabinguka. So as I thought about what I was going to put. Okilana this one yakila ngudi na ngudi kwekia. I said I'm going to put number 2. Na jaka kanike namba ile ile ile. To open that bag. Nige na kabinguka upuko. It is now very hot but I used to still keep it. Ni muku lakini ndo ni wiya. Why number 2? Nige namba ile. It will remind me always. Ukati kana kila bila yonde. When I put Two, 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 two. Ile, 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 ile. It will remind me always. Everything else I have is number two of God. Number one belongs to God. Whatever I have. Every time I'm opening the box, it was a reminder to me. Everything else. Number one was Number one was God. Number one, Ninga. Everything else, John, the killer king, shouldn't be number two. Chile o kaile. So whatever else is being said, John, the killer, the kill you wait. Whatever you do, 
You should ask yourself what is God saying? Mungu anasemaje? Ngai aziata katika hii njambo. Ndeni wondu. Mungu anasemaje? Ngai aziata katika hii njambo. Ndeni wondu. Mungu anasemaje? Ngai aziata katika hii njambo. Ndeni wondu. Mungu anasemaje? Ngai aziata katika hii njambo. Ndeni wondu. Maana is my first love. Nondo we ni ni mwendo wako ambe. When you feel with all your heart with all your soul when you feel before you do it what is God saying? Amen. Amen. Settle your worship. There are many people Father even ni wambia kitu kuna watu wengi wako kanisani they have not settled on God. They have never settled. That is why kukija mtu ana ana, ana kukija mtu ana anauza vitambaa yule pia boka mtu kuta itambaa tunanunua idoa mwingine ananunua mawe ya Daudi ungeidoa mawe ya manda David ile lingonga Goliath ila ya kimie Goliath tunanunua idoa hebu niwaulize kaini mgolia hiyo hiyo mawe ilikuwa ngapi oma biazu magime ngolia mawe meana Eh? Goliath yake mwa mabia ameana. Ale biwa rangabi. Na hii nyingi unatuuzia. Na mama ingi ututee hii. Ulitoa wapi? Waumizi hapa. Na utaona tukifanya nini? Naona tumeje kuzipatia hiyo. Na unaambia ukifika nyumbani ukiona ndaimoni. Piga. Ubungilia bia uona ndaimoni. Na watu wananunua siku hizi. Wengine wanaozua vipagio. Akibaitia waituti. Hii ni ya kupagia satani. Utute satani. Ndaimon. Ndaimono. Unakuta mama Good mama anapagia. Wewe ya mama atute tena mbesu mpaka kuanza atutite. Mtu wa ndaimon. Na watu wanununua. Hapo mpaka doa. Wengine wana wana, wana hata hapa kuna wengine wana vitambaa. Wewe anapata dhaba na kitambaa kinacha mudhemba muna. Utoa na na umia hapa. Kaya Walikuwa not settled on God. Tunajifanya tu. No kuifanya. Tunajifanya. Tu ya adhumu andhini maandiko mazi adhumu andhini wa Yehova. The Bible says that uh, relax. Tu ya adhumu si ngoo si tukulafu in the Lord. Kwa Yehova. We have never settled in the Lord. We are still to tulelanki. Twende na we are still bouncing bouncing. That is why we do whatever we do. Jamite take agla tweka. Hata tukisema nini tukifanya nini we don't care. Tu asia hata tweka hata tuje. Tu ya adhumu andhini wa nyao. We have never settled. Mwana na tu ya adhumu andhini wa nyao. We have never settled wa Yehova in the Lord. That's why we can do whatever we want. Because we don't care. We have never settled in the Lord. And that is why we go to get to get wachawi. Don't be foolish. Be wise. Why lovely? You should go. You worship God but it's still you have to do to go and you are tying some other charms in the case undo kundo kuthuka na hii mifuko imejaa mawe these bags may be full of stones or those charms mifuko eno use your mawe these bags may be full of hata hii mifuko inatuzo watu wa kiwo and some, some some bottles full of water holy water natu mavu natu mauta holy water and holy water anointing don't look at me i know 
I know these bags. They are full of some tumafuta, peculiar stones. Some water, some, some handkerchiefs. And you are still worshiping God, worshiping God. And, and then we are still worshiping God. The Bible says God is a jealous God. God is a jealous God. Akikubariki, then I share with my work with Namundongi. And I when he blesses it, the work with me. It should be here. Now, I'm Mundongi, work with me. The work with me. And that is why sometimes we struggle. Because God will not bless you when you are already blessed by somebody else. God does not marry a woman who has been married by another. So if you have been given a, an ankachi, be blessed by that ankachi. Even if you go to Kataloni, to pray, you, don't wait anything from God. That ankachi, try to give you are you are the only water. To someone you are given from your place. You, you, don't wait for a blessing from God. Because God does not share His glory with any other. God does not share glory with any man. Why do you say that God does not share glory with any man? Why do you say that God does not share glory with any man? Why do you say that God does not share glory with any man? Why do you say that God does not share glory with any man? Why do you say that God does not Go at your place and wait for those of your How time. can you be a and you are coming to church? Go to, to the place where sorcerers meet. Where we have sorcery or wizardry. Now I want to be in a wet lab in a was a time and a coup and a quick and a lapa, pape, a lab in a wabe, a mozu. If you are going through the power of the devil, don't wait for the power of God. Here we have the power of God. Don't be a double-edged. So that you may be blessed by everyone. Let us, let us know if the devil is the one blessed. Because the devil is blessed. Or we know God blesses. Because this one has been blessed of God. I know you all of you can't clap. And I feel like I can do some such. I can do some frisky. Amen. Amen. So that when, when we, we shall be drawn into the fire. Fijana waliambia the, mufaume hivi. The, 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 those boys told the king Nebuchadnezzar like this if you want us to get into the fiery furnace then throw us there but worshipping the idol we shan't but there is one thing that we know that God is able to deliver us from your hands and even if he doesn't we are ready to get burned up amen amen we have a big god to trust is able to keep us he is able to protect us amen amen settle your worship settle your worship don't mix worships. Amen. And that when the Kwala meta wa Mama moja alikuja akotoka kutoka wapi akisema akaniambia niliambiwa nije uniombe. Mama moyo mikundu ambia azi abia nuki niwe nuko. Because waombe anaji wako kila mahali. Ndio aboya ni mekila bandu. Nikomwambia mimi naombea wale wameokoka. Na mwenye boje ala atangi wewe mtangi wewe. Maana watu wanataka kuombewa ataki kuokoka. Ndio watu mendo mendo boje mendo tangi. Yesu ndiye anaokoa. Yesu wao tangia. Seto tuliza dhaidi wa. Seto you are worship. Amen. Amen. Seto you are worship. 
tuleza wadhaidi wako Augustine said Mondoa atawa Augustine aisiati you are made us for yourself utusewitie kwondo wako O oh Lord our God amemuya ingai waitu and our hearts our heart is restless until it rests on you na that you we to do that you to desire to move at your to move kwa how gastin said our hearts are only rest when we rest in God agatin aise kana ngo ngo situ idumwa to esa udumwa ndini wanga unless you will rest in God at your wish you in ndini wanga you will never find rest duke za kuhusiwa na wewe and so you need to settle your worship go no mpaka uhusiwe the work amen amen hallelujah hallelujah exodus chapter 20 verse 6 says god is a jealous god and as you settle your worship number two number one as you settle your worship number one is worship jehovah only number two of that is where we had passed as you settle your worship Remember yourself in a good church. As you settle in God, in what Jehovah. Number two, Remember yourself in a good church. Not any church. We fear to say this but now we have churches of all kinds so if you have set on in jehovah look for a good church and don't attend no and don't attend no 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 remember yourself be a member of that church declare your membership and say this church I am a member amen, amen. and be known as a member in that church amen. amen and this is what we have done long time ago we used to have a a membership form but this form is coming again we are not going to pastor everybody we are not going to pastor everybody and you know we left that for many years but now things are different because of news because of chakahola now what and men of them have come to that church and because we don't know where the government is going to is going. And now this report is going to come. We are going to have influx of all the churches from from all over. Yeah, there's going to be an intrusion in many churches everybody. And so we are going to receive people from whatever kind of churches we are going to have. And we are not going to we are not going to pastor to do the lang. We are going to pastor people who have settled in this church. And the fellowship leaders. You are going to get fellowship leaders mameni mali muko. Atongo mewe yongo baipo ngapewe bala mwe. Mukubwa ni mwe. Mukubwa munene no mutunga ni wongo. Fellowship leaders. Atongo imaichi. You are going to get this form. Motonga no dikwa sa form. And a duplicate enough for every every member. No, you may the see any see a kila. Every fellowship leader. Kila motongo wa. And the fellowship leaders, you are going to give your members. Na atongo mewe yimone ngai members men. To fill this form. What is the form you know? And we are going to give membership. Na tine ngai neka adi. And we will put them in the computer. Na tisi ya computer. With a photo. Na visa. Ya kila moja. Ya kila moja. And there is going to be. Kuna vitu hapa ni lazima usome. Pano baka usome neta. Na kuna vitu hapa utajasa. Na besi ni baka ususia. Na mwishowe. Na baka mudiabiyo. Hii kani, hii, hii list in ikona pledge of commitment. Pano mudiabiyo pena, pena kuizi hapa kwa kaka. Kano kenda hawi. 
Before you become our member, there is a pledge you are going to make. Membership commit pledge to each other. Yes. That you will, we will love one another. We will help one another. We will stand with each other. We will help one another to walk in this journey. We will pledge ourselves to one another. Katika shida tutakuwa pamoja. Kukiwa guzuri tutakuwa pamoja. Tutasaidiana kuenda mbinguni. Tutasaidiana kufanya kasi. Tutasaidiana tusadaidiana. And I don't want to give my pledge to wakatule land. Nandia nda kunenga ne uga I want to promise I want to promise Isaac I will stand with him But not a katuli langi We are not going to have to to do the langi in our church First of all we are going to register everyone And allow everybody body to come. And the moment you say, I belong to this church, we will go into your file. Because sooner or later, the churches in Kenya are going to have an influx. Remember yourself in a good church. Which church is good? A Christ-centered church. Today we have churches where men are at the center. And that is why we have started talking about my church. There is no man who has got a church. The church belongs to Jesus. And the church belongs to Jesus. We all worship Jesus. We have started worshiping men instead of Jesus. Don't attend a church where man is at the center. Attend a church where Jesus is the center. Amen. 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 Attend a church where which is Bible centered. The Bible is the document. The Bible is the the book not somebody else's writing but not what the founder said if you want to, if you want to, if you want to know most of the churches which are not bible centered they have the bible and another book we want a church where the bible is the book a Bible where which is Holy Spirit led. Where the Spirit of God leads. We want a church that is disciplined. Amen. We are I go to places Na kijana anasimama hapa. Na kama ana kajonga baba. Aongoze praise and worship. Aongoze praise and worship. Unajua huyu is not disciplined. Uima na kaaka ya kaya. Ana inuka. Bwana asi wewe. Inuka. Wewe inata yoka. Musewe kunanga mongo wewe. Inuka wewe piga makofi wewe. Kibati wewe. Wewe mama wewe. Ruka. Unaangalia huyu mtu hizi. Usizi ona mtu ube bandu bethi naba. Wewe muse. Wewe musewe. Kunanga mongo ukile mongo wazu. Kunanga kupiga makofi. Rip those hands. Where is discipline? Where is discipline? A church that has got discipline. A church that is growing. Growing how? Spiritually. What one is a What one is a key Make an a key beba. What as I do a kukuakiro. Makate the wakuyana key beba. One angeseka. Maka on the kaki number. They are also growing geographically. Make an a yuki, maka nanza kiki. They are also growing. Make an a kiki seo. That's a church that is. Osunika nisola and then a kuyana. That is good. It is not one there are so many around. And as you go along, you, you can look for that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Settle your worship. Settle your worship. So, 
kwa huyu as we finish Timina. settle your relationships ah uh, tuliza ndo hosi yako unana wao settle your relationship cannot resolve to will na ndo ala ngiri mulikana mulikanga na bible says if a man does not know how to rule his own house he will take care of the church of god and the moon there see ndo wa usua wa usube kana kana kuhusia nomba yake aka asumbe kata nomba yanga how do you settle your relationships tuliza hata number 1 ndo wambe your family your relationship with the family gwata ni oya kuna musi wako Some families are in shambles. Monsieur mwana ya naiki and yet they are brothers and sisters. It no ana so na ito tande ni wa mwili. Set up your your family relationship. Kwanda ya tuliza ndo mzi wako. Amen. Amen. Love with the mother, love with the father, and love with the children. Enda kwenda kupitia nda muembe. Set up your relationship. Yule ana sahili kutubu atubu yule mwingine amsame. Umwe aeke ulongi. Your relationship with his spouse. We we ngati hakuna ulamu twandi nake. Kama wewe na mke wako mnaishi mbaya, tengeneza hiyo set up. Weka laana hii kaine. Na yule anaishi maisha akatuli langi. Arudi na katuli langi asioke. Acha maisha utuli langi. Haya kani akutuli langi. Your relationship with your children. Bwana ni hakuna tena siyako. Tengeneza hiyo relationship. Sio biongwa tani wesu. Your relationship with your relatives. Bwana ni hakuna ndo mama msi wenu. Set her down bwana. Tulizo ungwa tani wesu. Amen. Amen. Set her down. Amen. With your neighbors. Na tui. Set her down. Tuliza. Amen. Amen. Number 5 ya mwisho. Number ya 5 ya mwisho. Ya mudia. Set her down your future. Sisi ya usie maundu ma u ni wadha yu wa. Set her down You are future. Sisi ya usie maundu ma u ni wadha yu wa. Are you sure your future is secure? Uwe wina uwe kana u ni wa kuwe sawa. Fanya hivi tukimaliza. Kwa ambike uti imina. Are you sure your future is secure? Uwe wina uwe kana u ni wa kuni uwitie. Are you sure your future is secure? Wena uwe kana u ni wa kuni uwitie. How do you secure your future? Uwe uwe siya u ni wa kuwe ata. John chapter 3 verse 7. Johana itoto muzwa kumi muzwa mwanza. Jesus told Nicodemus. Yes, so eh yeye Nicodem, you must be born again. Ni lazima usiawe yake. How do you settle down your future? Utona kusubia uni wako hata. By getting by being saved. Undo wambe tangiwa. That is how you you secure, you settle down your future. Au ni boto liza hayo lo au ni wako. Amen. Amen. Your future is secure. Une wa kuke the animu. Your future is solved. Une wa kuni muzi. Because you know you are born again. Nundu wezi muzi ya keli. Na kuna watu wengi wako makanisani. Na bea nukibe makanisani. Una wakuda wanambewa. Mimi. Zizi zizi watu wako kangi. Kama una kanisa ayokoki. Ndaya kanisa watu tangi. You are safe. You are safe. Your future is not settled. Mama nando ai za usia. Jesus said you must. Yesu eye ni kote mono mbako siya waya kele. It's not a request. Pauti kwezu bana. You must be born again. No mbako siya waya kele. And if you are here. Na enda weba. If you have not given your life to Jesus. Na nandwa ane kezu ayu waku. Your future. O ne waku. Is not secure. Nandwa ai za usia. You have not settled down the issues of your future. Na unu maku maoni. Na mba. And Jesus, that is what Jesus told him you must be born again. Yes, we are looking at saying no siwa ya kelis. Number B, as you settle your future. Yolo au ni waku. Settle your reward. So be it to be yaku. Your reward. Usie to be yaku. Revelation chapter 22. Eh ubuwa nyo kiliku cha mengo na ile. Fast 12. Mosoa we 10 na ile. The Bible says, maande kwa maasi ate. And I am coming and my reward with me to give to everyone according to his work i am coming quickly yes you are saved But are you sure when we get to heaven are you going to get your reward? We don't work for rewards when we go to heaven. We work for rewards here. How? Okay. Where how do you want to live in heaven? Oh, we Have you ever thought about that? Why is those one you? We enda ikalate tuni. How do you want to settle in heaven? Kana wenda ulike tuni no dika la oh we oh you just want to get in heaven and then ni enda ulike tuni na na ulike tuni I want to get into heaven eva be andu makatu wanesa and if there are people to be right eva be andu makake kala ibe la ila si embe ni mwa bukuma in the front seats ni enda idu apa because of working I want to be there lakini amwe basabo bas 
Mwini umwa isi, I want to live in a corner of, in a cabin, in glory land. Nienda yi kala kasumba ni keba, ye tu ni kona ni kaka ilio uka suku. I want to live in a cabin in heaven. Edho ni wisi, itu ni nuenda edho, ikala maisha, nuenda ikala nesa. If you want to live well in heaven. Set all about your reward now. You in demand the money, Mama. To make way back. And the reward is looked for when it is here. To be demand the water. Because the Bible is saying, I will bless everyone. What? According. Don't go. Money. Kaka. Kila mundo. Kuya na na na. We are working. Mo kwasi malele tu we will not drink water. Kindu give give man. Those lazy hands. Can you get anything when you get up there? Mo kwasi malele tu. Those sagging hands. We are not taking what I can do. Give me another. Do you think you get anything? Anything worth? Now, are these years what are not? And if you go before Jesus comes, we take his innovation. You leave everything here. Not the year. And as we eat, not the camp. Bow them. Ilanza. 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 We need to ambawa. We shall eat that that bull. And in heaven you have nothing. Have you imagined about where you want to live in heaven? Why is us one? Why like Allah? What you do? If you did that, and that knows one, you will never be forced to work. Okay, the was one. You will serve and serve and serve and serve and give 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 and because you want you have settled no. about your reward when you want to lay him on the mark with your lord men who know there is a reward in heaven they are not forced to work because they know is no, a reward no, no, they are working for their reward amen amen, amen. settle your reward uh, and you see one game you know what? for example tithe Tithe is a big issue in churches. Offering is a big issue in churches. Why? People have not settled about the rewards. And my eyes was one area to be the lower amount. Amen. 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 Number. Yamusho. Undoa modia. Set settle your forever and ever life. Usia the lower ten na tene wada yowaku. The Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter four, verse seventeen. Man, the commandment of the Thessalonians was made. The Lord said, "I will come and I will come." Then we who are alive, now it is not the idea of the day, and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet them to meet the Lord in the air. I don't want to let you go. You have to come to me now. Now, 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 the Lord. Kondo wau together pamo na muya itena tene. My future is secure. O ne wa kwa ne muu. We shall be with the Lord forever and ever. Tukeyo wa na muya itene na tene. Tukeyo na muya ichau. We shall be with the Lord forever na tene and ever. Kwa u my future. Kwa u o ne wa kwa is secure. Ne muse. My future is settled. Amen. Amen. I will be with the Lord forever and ever. Are you sure that is your testimony? Am I your Catholic lang? May God help us to settle down. Kutulea. May God help us to settle down. We have talked about several talk, uh, settling down. Number one, settle down what? Come on, settle down our life. Number two, settle our marriages. Number three, settle our worship. Number four, settle our relationship. Number five, settle our future. And when you do that, you will live a calm life in this world. Amen. Amen. May God bless you to settle down. And if you have not settled down in God, 
your future is not secure. You are forever with Jesus is not secure. Are you sure after we leave this world, you well, will live with Jesus forever in heaven? If you do that, why do we work with lazy hands and many years will be there enjoying what we did with our hands may God help us to have a revelation and may this church settle down Amen. May this church settle down. And those who are watching us online. And you intend to be members of our church. And you are members of our, of the, of our online church. May you also settle down. We have so many people watching us today. May you settle down.